Welcome YouTubers to a video that I have for you today. I'm going to take this SD card that's right in here. Take this SD card to this adapter using my OTG cable and I'm going to run CyanGemon 11 4.4.2 off of my SD card and not on my internal memory of my Nexus 7 2013 Flow Edition, if y'all need to know. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is, this will be through Multi-ROM. What you want to do is, you're in your Team Win Recovery Project right here. I'm going to show down here. I'm going to go to Advanced, Multi-ROM. Okay, before I do anything, I want to connect my cable. Boom. Down there. Okay, now that that's connected, I'm going to go to List ROMs. Excuse me. Okay, and this is down here Location Internal Memory. I'm going to change that. And see that right there? SDA1, that's my external. Okay, select. Boom. There's my CyanGemon. Uh, I'll add some links below. You can install that um, uh, onto this thumb drive here. Uh, I'll show you a video. Well, I'll show you how to do that real quick before we get going. Um, Multi-ROM. When you want to add a ROM, you got Android. You know, share the kernel. And then when you're plugging your SD, your OT, OTG, excuse me, cable you'll see this pop up down here so when you just click down there and hit next it's gonna start you know asking you do you want to you know flash a zip file whatever and it's gonna go ahead and put it on your SD card it might take a little bit longer than you than you're than you're used to so you just need to bear you know be patient give it some time it will go through and some ROMs won't work some do but I found out that this one works and I want to show you today that it works okay so it shows I can see it right here once I go to select there it is so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and reboot system alright so we can go into the multi ROM feature which happens right after this boot and then select external SD here and we will get started on CyanGemon so boop I want to go there and see it says down here that we're on external or internal, excuse me. I'm going to go over here to USB. Sign Jamon right there. Bam. And I'm going to boot. So I'm completely booting. I'm running this ROM off of this external. This is also great if you're going to be into making uh, your own ROMs or doing something just absolutely crazy and you don't want to screw up anything in here whatsoever you just go ahead and flash it to that and run it if possible and then do what you can um, I attempted to run Ubuntu off of the external SD but it just did not work there you go there's a CyanGen boot there we go and it's already been ran once or twice so it, sh it shouldn't take too long but you never know There we go. It's up and running. Oops, we don't need to do music. But there we go. I got it up. Okay. Bam. Settings. CyanGemon is also a really great ROM for you to put on here. It's it's got so many abilities and options for you. It's just great. It's like a you know they're starting to be issued out on specific phones. Um, as far as you know like a standard stock ROM so once again we'll go to about tablet and you can see here that we are running CyanGemon boom 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 this is snapshot M3 this is the latest that's been out as of today that I know of so hope y'all let's click there you go Boop. you know and that's about it so we all know that all right Hope you all enjoyed this little video on how to use the external SD card uh, with CyanGemon 11. You can use it to make any kind of tweaks, 
however you see fit. If you want to put weird stuff on here to mess it up, then you should be just fine as long as it's off of that and not off of your internal or some kind of crazy thing. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.